My manhood is not limited by the fact that I adore you. Everything about who you are inspires me to worship your womanliness when I explore you. You being the wonderland that is your heavenly body. My femininity or feminine side, it tells me how you are feeling inside. It tells me how each simple hug and kiss I provide can do so much while each touch can take away the pain of every minute you've cried without me, for I am now you. Good morning, thank you for joining us on the Glass City Grind. It's me, Cheryl, Charlie, Lisa. Happy Valentine's Day. Hello. Hello, you guys. Everybody good? It's a day of love. It's a day of love. It's We're a day of gift loved. giving. Yes. And expensive things. It's a day. Um, fancy Hallmark cards. It's all about females. Am I allowed to say that? No, it's Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it is. I think Valentine's Day, we, we're supposed to take care of you guys. Yeah. When we do it, are we going to do a Swedish Day show this year? Because that's. Of course. Oh, you think job. that that's the man's time? I, I kind of do man's too. I okay, it's kind of like the Sadie Hawkins of, of, Valentine's. of Valentine's. Right. Oh, I like that. Okay. However, both my kids are my Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Can I just say Me this too, too by the way? Um, sex is not a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. I mean, okay. it, it could be. No. <laughs> no, unless it's the first time. Otherwise, it's not a gift. You're, are you saying for the, the sweetest day that that's not a gift to you? You want an actual gift. I want a gift. Like you want like a new watch. So I or... want something I can open up, something tangible. I don't want something I had yesterday. Something okay. fancy. Right. You're literally something like you had sex. Oh, <laughs> right. So assuming you've had a new pink shirt relationship new, like that. A new pink shirt. <laughs> well, you know what else has gone on this week? Um, you know, we did see the Grammys this mm -hmm. week. That yeah. had happened. Um, any shocking moments there? No, I, th I think I the think Grammys were good. I think fine. it was the most like, rant, 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 like straight and narrow right. Grammys I've ever seen. Right. Yeah. There was like nothing out of the ordinary. Well, there I mean, wasn't... Kanye did try to walk up for a second. I think he was completely was joking. Joke. Yeah, it was a joke. However, yeah. you know, that was the one But it wasn't moment. like he got on stage or made a big... When the hell did Tom to Jones get old? <laughs> he popped up and I was like, what's with all the gray hair? We just, he just came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you think about age. the collaborations with like the older artists and the newer artists? I mean, like I like the one with Paul McCartney and Kanye and Rihanna. I do, I do yeah. like that one. Um, I think it kind of trying to keep them fresh, trying to get them mixed in with, mm -hmm. you know, current audiences. What do you think, Mr. Music? I, I, uh, it's, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like, I thought from. Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga were great, but some of the other ones I felt like feel Yeah, there forced. was somebody else I thought, okay, this was ridiculous. Yeah. I wish I could remember what song it was, but it was so that I don't remember. I <laughs> but thinking about songs, Valentine's Day. Is that a segue to me? That's a segue to right, look, you. I've got on my phone the top five love songs of all time celebrating Valentine's okay. Day. Okay. So, number five, the association with the song Cherish. I don't even know that. Oh, oh, is that Cherish? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh. Oh, of course. Huh. Well, it took okay. us a second to get okay. that. Yes, that was okay, good. Okay, that's one. number five. Number four is The Beatles, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Okay. That's a good love song. Uh, mm -hmm. Number three, Nat King Cole with Natalie Cole, Unforgettable. That oh, was a good duet. Oh, of course, duet. yes. To sing a song to your dead yes. father, that says love to oh, me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's I don't that's know about romantic love. Oh. oh. Well, her singing it, but I mean the song as yeah, a whole. Yeah, the song's a pretty song. Yes. Number two, Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You. Oh, of course, yeah. That's and nice. according to this survey, the number one Romantic song of all times, Etta James, At Last. Oh, yeah. 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 Everyone dances to at their wedding. The president and the first lady danced yes. to it at uh, the inaugural yep. ball for some. Yeah. That, that, that is a beautiful, a beautiful song. It Do is. you guys have, like, a song with your significant others? <laughs> others? Uh, Freak Me Baby. <laughs> is others. Freak Me Baby is our love song. <laughs> You're not being very romantic today. <laughs> I know, Charlie's got a whole different interpretation. <laughs> we're trying, well, you know, we're going to Chicago later today. And his wife is going with him, so he's like already thrilled and excited. But Cheryl stayed in the room with us the first night, so. So there's gonna be no. No. Bow chicka wow wow. Yeah. Blocker. <laughs> I'm just a friend. <laughs> All right, guys, stick with us. Have a great Valentine's Day. We've got lots more coming up. Right. We'll see you back after the break. I would never block you. I will help her own. Hey guys, welcome back. We are joined by Dr. Bob from Sylvania Vet. Thank you for having me, Lisa. Thanks for coming again. We love oh. having you on the show. This is it's a mutual admiration society <laughs> then. And tell me, this is our Valentine's Day special, so we're talking about love and happiness and you know those those good feelings. How do pets 
help to increase that with people and in their homes? Well, I can give you an exact example. My wife was away for a week and my dog, uh, you know, really missed her. You could tell it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And so I picked her up at the airport last night in the, uh, in the I had Tressie, my dog, in the car. And I mean, she was kind of happy to uh, be with me for the whole week. But when she saw my wife, it was just unbelievably Aww. special all <laughs> over her and you know, uh, hardly could keep her in the car. Uh, she wanted to get out and, uh, and see her on the, uh, on the driveway at uh, Detroit Metro. Oh, so that's so sweet. It was, it was great. But, you know, there's great studies about the positive influence that pets have in, in uh, lives. You start with children. It decreases the likelihood that they're going to develop animal um, allergies oh. if they have a pet in their life throughout their life. Okay. There's a study that uh, shows that uh, uh, people that have pets in their lives for their entire life, they live five years longer than pe people that don't have the, the presence of pets. Wow. There's uh, evidence with elderly people, their blood pressure will drop um, and they will see the doctor less often and it gets them up and gets them going, gives them purpose, you know, particularly. So I've got some great stories. I've got a story about a wow. cat and Joe that is really <laughs> special um, and then you go on from there about uh, social acceptance mm -hmm. there's a study that they uh, in England that they did they dressed a guy up in uh, uh, in grungy clothes and uh, and he looked like a street person in the <laughs> middle of a mall and you could watch the video of people going as wide as they could to avoid him it's a different mall so that it was a different scenario but the same guy this time he had a dog and people interacted with him. Oh my gosh! It, it's it's really That's, it's that really, is cool, really cool stuff. Dogs have been trained, and they can uh, they can. We know about dogs that are trained to uh, sniff bombs and, and drugs, yeah. and and the the dogs of 9/11. I've mm -hmm. got a wonderful handout that we did uh, from an article on the dogs of 9/11, which is really special about what how, the important part that they played in that. Uh, tragic event wow. and uh, dogs have been trained to sniff at uh, um, skin and they're able to detect melanomas in people before the dermatologist can even oh with a magnifying God. glass it's, it's a, it is amazing it's amazing and, and really they, mm. they are kind of like the perfect companions to people well they're not judgmental you oh, know, and so, so true. and which is really, you know, which is really good. So if you've had a bad day, it's really hard to not put a smile on your face when your dog comes in and jumps up and and wants you to greet them, you know. And yep. uh, you know, you can yell at them, and they'll be right back the next minute, uh, ready for more positive attention. So there's, it just goes on. It's why this is such a great profession, you know. Yes. Oh there, my gosh. There are certainly sad things when we lose a patient, oh, and it's time. And a, pa our patients don't live long enough. That's for sure. But well, it's, a, it's a great, uh, great uh, profession. Oh, well, hey, we absolutely love it. We love that you come in and share all these tips with us. You guys heard it straight from Dr. Bob, why it's important to have pets in your lives. They really are the best companions, and they give you unconditional love. They absolutely do. So you can think about that on Valentine's Day. The staff of Sylvain Vet would like to wish all the viewers of Glass City Grind happy Valentine's Day, and give us a call or check us out. Um, on the web at www.sylvaniavet.com, our phone 419-885-4421. We're there 24-7. And we'll see you right back after the break. Welcome back and how excited are we? Very. Can you smell? Mm. Can you see? Who do we have here? Lori. Hi. From Cake in the Cup. Hi. My That's favorite place. Yes. Yeah. Mm. My That's favorite right. place too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's that very is. good. So tell us what's going on. For, we wanted to give a quick little segment here about Valentine's Day. Cupcakes are always a great little gift. Is yes. it a busy time of year for you guys? It is the busiest few days because really? the day before Valentine's Day, everyone's trying to get some, some people that are preparing are coming in and then the day of, the people that have forgotten, All they're right. coming in also. So it's crazy both I'm days. I'm sorry. I yeah, exactly. I know, last minute. Well, <laughs> the problem that we have is we are a small local bakery right. and we bake to sell out. So that's our goal. We don't want to have leftovers. We bake fresh every day. Mm. And so on the day of Valentine's Day, it gets crazy. I think last year we sold around 4,000 cupcakes that day wow. and we sold out around 6.30. We closed at 7. So we 4, had some. 4,000? Yes. Now, yes. if you ever have any leftover, do you still do the Facebook? Um, here's yes. our last one yeah. of the day. So you should follow Cake so in the Cup good. on mm -hmm. Facebook. Yeah. That's so yeah. good. Yeah. Who comes up with the flavors of the cupcakes that you make? Um, myself and my business partner. Sometimes mm -hmm. the, we have a lot of um, people working for us and mm -hmm. they'll say, oh, we just saw this. And you just get inspiration off of 
Pinterest and just different cupcake shops. I like to look and see what people are doing all the time. Before we get into these uh, flavors, has there ever been a flavor that you try and you're like, nah, that didn't work? Um, yeah, there's been a couple. Dana mm -hmm. and I are really picky and uh -huh. we're also really bad with criticism to a point. <laughs> Is that all women or? I don't know. Of course. Okay. So there have been a couple that, you know, we've just tossed in the garbage after we after tasted we, it. So yeah. quickly, which flavors do we have here? Um, today we have cookies and cream, cherry coconut, vanilla, dreamsicle, white wedding, mm. and chocolate. Chocolate! I think we should taste one on our way to commercial. I just feel like that's something You just that want me to have food to falling on my face <laughs> as we're trying. No, I'm not. I'm, but listen, I tell you right now, uh, we go to Cake in a Cup once a week. Oh, great. And so I, I, I've loved your company ever since I became aware of you, and I... Everything you do is great. Thank I've never you. had anything Thank that you. was iffy. Everything has been fantastic, and I love it. Thank you. Yeah. So I love much. you so much, Thank man. You. But you cannot have a bacon one. Didn't I hear about a bacon oh, one? Oh, yeah, we yeah, have maple can, bacon you on cannot Saturdays. Have that one. She so brought me one already. Like, That's the one I didn't yeah. make we'll it home. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. Cupcakes. If he ever comes in, don't let him have one. Hey guys, welcome back. Right now we are with Kayla from Ahava Salon and Spa in downtown Toledo, which is my personal favorite place in Toledo because they always make me so beautiful. Um, and in this season of love, we are talking about who needs to be loved more than our mothers. And tell me, what do you guys have coming up that can show um, you know, respect and love for our mothers? You guys have a little contest, correct? Yes, so right now we are, um, well not currently, but as of February 15th, we are going to start having anybody and everyone write into us either on our Facebook page, our email, which is ahavaspa at yahoo.com, or you can um, send it in, you know, snail mail. Snail mail. <laughs> Wait, do at, people know what snail mail is anymore? I don't even. I, I don't even know how the post office keeps going, but but that's a possibility. It's an option. It's so, an option. So, and that would be 34 <laughs> South St. Clair, um, 43604. Um, and we just want you to tell us why your mom is so awesome, why she's so deserving of having a day to just be cherished and pampered and loved on. And as of Mother's Day, we will draw, well, I don't know if we're drawing or just choosing the best story. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to kind of read everyone's entries, pick out your, you know, the one that really touches you the most. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to announce on Mother's Day who our special mother is that we are going to pamper and cherish. I love that. Well guys, it's super easy. Send in your submissions. Make sure you check out Ahava online and happy Valentine's Day. Spread the love. Hey, thanks for sticking with us here on the Glass City Grind. We are excited on this Valentine's Day, especially yes. to have our friend Janet Amid, life coach, astrologer. What all? What all are you, Janet? Well, I, well basically, I've been an astro I, I also have a degree in psychology. I have a master's in psychology, so I've been really? working with astrology. Astrology helps me to understand people, but as, my background in psychology marries it together very well. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I love that. And so I've been doing this forever. So astrology is one of my, it's my thing. And I, I work with people that have relationship issues, job issues, money issues. You mean people have relationship problems? Oh my gosh, that's like top <laughs> priority. Are you kidding? That is like the top thing. When people ask me what's going on, you know, what's, what's happening in their lives, it's always about relationships. Right. Wow. Because I think people get very stressed because they, they tend to get it. What I always find is that people are always attracted to the honeymoon stage. Yes. So the first six months of any relationship is always the honeymoon stage. That's when you meet somebody and the sex is good, the chemistry, everything, everything yes. is great. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I knew you would say that. People have sex in the first say. six months. <laughs> well, it's no. just everybody's so excited and everybody's like euphoric. And then I tell them, wait a minute, this is not exactly the way it is because after six months, this is going to happen after you're out of the pretend stage. So what happens is, of course, they're disappointed and everything. Yeah. Yes. Else. And normally they will always come back and say, "Oh my gosh, he dumped me. You're right." Blah 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 blah. So it's interesting. You could astrology is like that thumbnail sketch to the world. It gives you a little bit of an idea. It gives you a little thumbnail idea of what's going on. My father, who was an astrologer, he, he was from the Middle East. He always said that it, it's like a key to the universe. Right. Once you understand the concepts of it, you can 
predict anything. I mean, you can really work with it. But of course, the, the free will is a higher law of the universe. Right. And with relationships, one thing I was going to say is I think that people are attracted to like the opposite of yes. them. And then after a while, that's what gets on your nerves. It is. It really is. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like I used to think Charlie Somebody was got really personal, nice. Didn't <laughs> Charlie is nice. I already looked at his birthday. He's a good guy. Oh my Emma. gosh. Yeah, he is. Oh, I yeah. can't wait. Can I, can I ask what you saw about me? Well, I felt, I felt that you're, um, you, I felt like you're very, very relationship oriented, very committed. You have to have the best of everything, good clothes, good food. It has to be the best. You're very attracted to good things, yes. but you compartmentalize your life. Like that means that you love your space a lot. You love your freedom. You don't like to be boxed in, but yet you like to know that that person you're going home to is the person for you. And, okay. and there's a lot of chemistry between you and your wife. I mm -hmm. did look at that. I was going hot. Diggity. I mean, it was like strong. Yeah, diggity dog. What about me? Can you, what do you feel? First of all, I want to confirm. Look at your birthday. I want to yeah. confirm that Pisces are like the best sign. Pisces. Every sign has this quality. Pisces is one of my favorite signs of the zodiac. And Thank why you. is that? Because it's it, they're sensitive, they're intuitive, they're creative, and Pisces are so they're like a plethora of emotions. You know, when you look at a Crazy. Pisces, they're, they're, it's one of the. It, it's really a sensitive sign, and they're just they're just unusual in their creativity. They wow. love being artistic. Pisces are either doctors or they are or either actresses or actors, either one or the other, because it's that extreme. They're, they Trauma. have that extreme. They're either into medicine, into healing, or they're into being creative and artsy. So they have that total and extreme. creative can be healing, too, it, it can in be, its own little way. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. And Pisces are probably very intuitive. But again, what I always tell my clients, the time of birth has a lot to do with what's going on in our charts. You can't just look at the sun sign, because I'm saying Pisces is my favorite sign of the zodiac, but let's say that's a, a Scorpio with a Pisces moon, moon represents represents emotions and feelings. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the whole thing. With astrology, it's a big picture. Right. You have to look at the whole thing. So Pisces is a small part of a, of a, of a big picture, actually. So it's just wow. a sun okay. sign. Real quick, I, before we forget, I do want to make sure you have an event coming up. Yes, I March make 29th. Sure, March yeah. 29th. 2015, it's going to be at the Central Park West off of Central Avenue by McCord. Okay. We're going to have a psychic event, 40 readers, 40 vendors. Um, you, should, you have to stop in. We're okay. going to have massage therapists. I'll let oh. you guys in for free. Oh, oh wow. thank you. Yeah. Massage therapists. <laughs> We have that Massage on Massage therapy, <laughs> yes, for sure. Massage therapists, psychics, you name it. It's going to be really amazing. Okay, one before we have to go, how about one little tip during, since it's Valentine's Day, sure. one little tip that people might be thinking about, because it's love is in the air. Love is in the air, and Mercury, the planet of communication, has been retrograde since January 21st, which means okay. communication's been a little crazy. So as of February 12th, two days before Valentine's Day, it's going direct. So we're going to be in a great cycle, you know, because communication would have been really nasty Sweet. if it was retrograde on Valentine's Day, but it's not going to be. The road is clear, paved with great intentions. Good, good, good. Well, thank you for stopping by, Janet. We appreciate you. having you. Yes. And we will be back with more of the Glass City Grind. It's all coming up right after this. I'm At Fringe by Carrie, our scissors are our paintbrush, and each client is a fresh palette. With creativity and charm in our quaint salon studio, our artists make our guests feel special with fashion-forward hair creations and everyday look transformations. Our owner is a color educator. We provide custom coloring with natural ammonia-free color. We have a relaxing massage area with a trained massage therapist. Mention this ad and receive 10% off. Visit Friends by Carrie at 3316 Landsman Road in South Toledo. My sweet, my manhood is not decreased by the fact that you are my need. I feel more like a man when I am craving the joys that you bring to me. While your compassion can soften even my hardest nature, and your smile can bring about my most sensitive and attentive behaviors, my femininity or feminine side. It helps when I am reading your mind and becoming one with the thoughts that your thinking provides as you and I connect on a mental stimulation of limitless heights. Honestly, if I could, every 28 days I would bleed for you. When in distress, I'd be that heaven's peace for you. My manhood is nothing that I need to prove to others who have no need for truth. Truth being that I am in a daily and desperate need for you. Thanks for sticking with us on this special Valentine's Day. You know, it wouldn't be a Valentine's show without a little bling. So we brought in our friend from Zales, Franklin Park Mall, Eric. 
Hi. How are you guys? Good. Wonderful, wonderful. First of all, I love the purple. Thank you. Very looking nice. good, sir. Yes. Looking good. Try to keep it in the purple or the pink. Of course. Exactly. On Valentine's Day. <laughs> exactly. Well, now, I see you on occasion over there at Zales at Franklin Park Mall. So tell us, what kind of specials? Will you be busy today? What's going on? We actually have our signature showcase today. It's a one-day event. Um, jewelry is up to 50% off and the jewelry that she brings in. They're all one-of-a-kind pieces. Really? Whether it be gemstones, diamonds, or anything you're looking for. Um, if you're looking for a unique piece for that unique person or that special person in your life and you don't want to get them something else everybody else is getting, this right. is a great day to come in. Or like your co-host. Exactly. You can always get them something. Exactly. How she puts herself into that. <laughs> Just ideas. And then we also have a few of our signature lines that we have. We have our Vera Wayne. Which, in case anybody noticed. That is nice. I am not engaged, but this is beautiful. That is very nice. And this and is Vera Wang? Vera Wang, yep. She has sapphires on the side of each one of her pieces, which stands for the everlasting love. Um, and then we also have anniversary bands, too. So people are married, they can also give her that to put on with the ring or put on an extra finger. Right. We have the three stones, the past, present, and future. And then we also I have in my hand our unstoppable love, oh, which yes. actually beats. This is exclusive to Zales. This is actually a one carat. Um, and then today, all of our all of our jewelry is on sale um, if it's in our store and in our catalog. Um, so we do have a lot of things going on for you guys. And we do offer financing, so anybody wants to do yeah. that, we also have that as well. We're going to need that. Right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now you said it, it beats. I think this is that's the one that... It I, moves, yep. I, so when so she wears beautiful. it, it's supposed to signify the heartbeat. That's, wow, that's I love wonderful. that. That's wonderful. Well, gosh, we appreciate you taking time to come in. And you guys have specials throughout the season, Correct. throughout the year. Yep. Um, and you have a different, a variety of price ranges. Too. Exactly. They start off at some. We actually have some gemstones that start off at forty nine dollars and go on up. And then we also have this selection right here, the Unstoppable Love, starts at seventy nine dollars and goes on up. The Vera Wayne starts about nineteen ninety nine and goes on up. Um, so, we do have price ranges for everybody. And, Let me ask you. I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, no. Kat, one question. I know this. I know this is. You know, I've, I've been broke before. Yeah. Yesterday. Um, <laughs> you guys don't mind selling the forty nine dollar object just like you don't mind selling the four thousand nine hundred dollar piece exactly. right it, no you, you don't think less of us when we buy the forty nine dollar object right nope i bought it before too so we're there, good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go zales at franklin park mall correct correct go check them out make sure you see him there it's valentine's day or buy something for yourself yes. do that all right we'll be back with more of the glass city grind it's all coming up right after this how's yeah. the baby good <laughs> I desire for you to come to me and stay with me and be in love with me. Honestly, if I could, I would carry within me a part of you for 270 days, but since I cannot, I will glorify you in 270 ways until tomorrow, and that's when I will start all over again. And if I am less of a man to any of them, then I am more than over my friends, you see. Their laughter means nothing whereas you mean everything and more. They envy what I have found because of with their love or lack thereof, they've become bored and complacent. While me, I know exactly where my place is. It's with you, beside you, inside you, so I am not complaining. When many tell me that I have too much of a feminine side, not knowing what this feeling is like to have love, to know love, and to experience what this feeling excites inside of me. I am woman for I am you, and I'm, I am not afraid to show it. I am masculine with a feminine blend, and I give no concern to those who know it. And if you need me to, I will cry for you, lay down my life and die for you. If need be, I will fight for you against others who have no right to do what they do to hold you down continuously. I am all man only because you bring out the best in me. I am all woman not moved nor worried by what the rest believe. Because while I am staring at you partaking of a restful sleep, I am falling more in love with you and thus with myself, unshaken by what the rest will think about my femininity. Happy Valentine's Day, Glass City Grind. Thanks for sticking with us today. We're excited. Nikki from Elite Events is here. Hello. Nikki! Hello. You look adorable, Thank Valentine's you. Day. Thank you. You're going to help us out real quick because if you don't want to go out to eat, you want to stay at home, or you just want to decorate. Like right. when my right. kids were younger, every holiday, that whole month, I had that stuff up. Oh, nice. Show us what we can do at home. Okay, so first you're going to want to select a color scheme that fits your style. So. You don't be afraid to depart from the normal reds and pinks. We decided to punch it up with a little bit of orange. Mm, so we did a it. orange and pink color scheme, which kind of goes more towards the spring, which can be a nice 
uplifting addition since it's so gloomy and cold outside. Right. Yes. Um, another tip I would say is adding texture with some linens. This mm. is a fun linen. Yeah. I mean, it could be great for kids. It's a little romantic, adds a little bit more of a formal ambiance. Yes. Um, jazz up your china with some inexpensive charger plates. We just chose a simple silver one, which you can get at any craft store or some dollar stores even carry oh, them. Mm -hmm. And they come in lots of them. different colors. Yes. So if you're wanting to do more of a kid's table, I've seen them in flower shapes. Cool. I've seen them in heart shapes. So the, it's the charger plates in different shapes? The charger plates. Now mm -hmm. I noticed that, and I, to cut you off, I noticed that you you have two different, the charger plates are round, right. but then the dinner plates on, on either side different, are, right. and they're different from, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you're just kind of adding a little bit of detail. Um, we really liked adding detail with like the, the funky straws and then we cut out cute little fun lips. Uh, glittery lips. I yes, for Valentine's Kiss day. yourself I'm as gonna, you drink. I'm going to do it because the kids will do it. Yes, they'll yeah. kiss it. <laughs> and don't forget your centerpiece. So, yeah. you know, we, we like drama and we like a big impact. So we decided to go with a taller arrangement that's nice. a little Love bit it. more formal. Nice. But if, you know, you want a bit more casual or... Uh, a little bit more intimate so that mm -hmm. you can have a better conversation I would suggest doing a lower centerpiece and it doesn't have to be this fancy you know floating candles are great and an expensive Beautiful. with a few floating blooms would be great um, you know if you're if you're wanting to get really fancy we brought in these nice shibari chairs I love shibari um, chairs oh. aren't they great I do <laughs> that was my favorite chair with these a little bit chairs. of fun yeah. detail yes. uh, with with the glittery hearts, you can make like a little a little love note on there. If it's just a, a dinner for two, right. it'd be nice. Right. That's so cute. Or it can be a place card setting. But we so. love it. You always give us such good tips, and we'll have those on our website this is beautiful. too. Right. Yeah. Right. So we love it. We love to give ideas too that people can do at home and not just going right. out. So sure. We, we appreciate you here at Elite Event. Thank That's you. right. Don't yeah. make the mistake idea by having the, the, the centerpiece about this level. You can't see the person right. that you're talking you to. You might want to sit down and see exactly There you go. That's that a great tip. <laughs> well, if you need any more advice, you can always contact Nikki at Elite Events. Yeah. So thank you for stopping by again. Thank well, you. we stopped by here. And we'll be back with more of the Glass City Grind. It's all coming up. Don't go anywhere. I love it. Thank you for sticking around with us today. Happy Valentine's Day. Remember, love's in the air. Find your Valentine. Get him a gift, apparently. Yes. Be nice. Or Romantic. you can do what I'm doing tonight and go out and see Fifty Shades of Grey with your girlfriends. Oh, no, see, that's not a good sign. You should be taking your husband, girl. Oh, we already did our Valentine's. Oh. Uh-oh. So <laughs> tonight, tonight, is, tonight is girls' night. The movie comes out. We're excited. But fun. Really? Oh, did you read nice. the book? Oh, I read the book. Oh. I told y'all. We Look. wanted something new about Lisa today, but we thank you guys no, for joining us. New. Happy Saturday. Don't remember. Thanks to all of our guests that were on today. Make sure to find us on Facebook, Twitter, our website, theglasscitygrind.com. That's right. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch up on everything you've missed. And we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Have a great week. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day.